Hi, I'm James Tarkovsky, and this is Professional on the Picture, the Active Education Company. Education for me, um, I think obviously it's most associated with school, but I think throughout life you, you're having your education. Um, I'm still learning about myself now, I'm still learning in my job, in my profession, um, and in, in, in my family life about being a dad and being a partner. Um, so I know school is where a big boy here education takes place, and rightly so, um, but you're always learning. Um, it's that classic old saying of <laughs> you learn something new every day, but you really can. Um, so it's about being a good listener, a good learner. Um, and, and, and sort of taking information in all the time uh, and, really, and really trying to improve yourself as a person um, and whatever job or lifestyle you take on. My first memories of peeing in school would be primary school and just wanting to get involved in anything sport-wise I could really, uh, whether it's playing football, rounders, basketball, Anything that got me outside and was active, I was, I was quite interested in being involved in. Um, and then even into secondary school, every sport that was on offer, um, I'd want to take part in, whether that was cross country, rugby, cricket. Um, I just wanted to be involved in the active all the time. So I, I was willing to sort of take up anything and get, and get stuck right in. There's been a few, to be honest, teachers that have inspired me. Uh, probably the initial one was a teacher called Mr. Tyrrell, um, who was all about cross country and rugby and just being and sort of getting stuck right into it. Um, he seemed to take a liking to me because I, I just wanted to be involved. Um, so he was the initial one. And then probably f closer to the end of years of school, I teach called Mr. Ogden. Um, he, he took me to Oldham and, and, and got me signed up there. Um, so he got me sort of, I stepped back into, into the sort of professional game, I should say. Um, so they're probably the two biggest influences from the teacher I had. I always hoped I'd make, I'd make a professional football. I had the, the dream and the ambition that I would make it, um, but th there's never sort of that guarantee that you're, you're ever going to make it. Um, even to the time when I was in my YTS and I, and I, and I made my professional debut, um, at that stage, you're still not guaranteed to go on to have a full professional career. Uh, I remember my agent told me when I made my first, played my first game, you're not a real professional until you've played 100 games in the football league. So that was something that always stuck in my mind um, and always has really that, you're not, you're not professional, so you've got them appearances under your belt and I'm, I'm still striving to get as many in my belt as I can now. All coaches have had a, an impact on me one way or another, whether I've took a liking to them or not, or whether they've liked me or not, they've all had an, all had an impact. Um, the biggest one was Tony Philskirk, who was my youth team coach at Oldham. Um, not just about the game, but about my mentality as well, um, how I approached the game my work rate, my effort, my commitment. Um, I had some of that, but he really brought it out in me uh, and probably, probably turned me into a real man uh, on a football pitch. So he was someone that, even to this day, that, that I hold in high regard and really appreciate the amount of effort and work he put in with me. For myself personally, it actually felt like a bit of a relief. Um, I wasn't enjoying my football at that period of time and that was something which had never really happened to me before. I just loved playing football but I went for a six month spell where I didn't enjoy playing. I was training twice a week and then turning up at a weekend to go and play football and just watching the lads play in front of me. Um, so it was difficult so when it came to that it did feel like a relief. I wanted to get back to the enjoyment of being out on the grass with my mates and playing football. Um, so obviously it, it was difficult. The more difficult period was, was turning up to training and not playing. Um, the enjoyment is a, is a massive factor probably for myself and, and everyone really playing the game. So it, it, it came as, as a relief and, and sort of to get back out there with your mates and just being on the grass and touching the football and, and enjoying being out there was so important to me. I'll go back to the, a little bit of the previous question, which was the enjoyment factor. I, as soon as I got released from Blackburn, um, I probably could have gone and trial to another professional club if I wanted to, but I went straight back to my roots and said I wanted to go and play football with my friends again. So I went back to Sunday League, um, got a smile on my face, as you say, playing football and, 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 and look forward to the weekends to go and play and training. Um, and that really brought my game on again. I remember leaving Blackburn and, and, and sort of hating playing and never and felt, felt like I'd not improved at all. 
and then just by going and playing a bit of Sunday league football with my mates, felt like my game came on so much um, and really improved myself. Um, not as much technically, but just enjoy being on the grass, which really does bring out the best here. So yeah, I'd say I went back to Sunday league. Um, found my love for, for playing football again. Um, and then work, worked on my game as well. Um, I, I, I knew I had, I had things to improve, um, but ne never lost that desire of, of wanting to be a full-time footballer, being a professional footballer. Um, so I managed to work on my game, work on my fitness, uh, work on my technical attributes of my game. Uh, and also the, ta the tactics of the game. I used to watch a lot of football. I still do watch a lot of football. I used to watch a lot of, lot of football. Ball, just just watching people in my position in other positions, how they played football, what were the strengths, what were the weaknesses, uh, and sort of judge my own game on that and where I could improve. Sort of surround myself with good people, friends, family. Um, family pushed me pushed me into football, but not forced me. Uh, they, they could see that I enjoyed it, and so as soon as they see that I didn't enjoy it, they, they, they sort of advised, advised me away from it. So having those kind of people around you can really help. Um, and also, do, do, do something you love, do something you enjoy. Um, and if you ever feel like that isn't there, then you need to question why and, 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 and if you think you can change to do that. So, um, so that, that's obviously something that came from my family, they advised me that yeah, I wasn't enjoying the football anymore. So let's maybe take a different approach to it, which worked for me. Um, so if, if you aren't enjoying what you're doing or you're not doing what you love, then maybe, maybe look at different options. A uh, very surreal moment, really. Um, I'd read a lot of articles leading up to the announcement of the squad that there's potential I'd be involved, but you never really believe what you read until that actually happens. Um, so I got pulled into the office with one of my teammates and we've both been called up for the first time. Um, so it was nice to share it with someone else and, and then go back, go downstairs and pick up my phone and, and ring my family and, and, and let my friends know um, that it happened. So the proudest moment of my career by far um, and something which I hope to happen again at, at some point in the future. It, it's, it is a disappointment. Obviously, I've been there before, so once you have that taste for it, you, you, you want to you be there over and over again and be involved in playing for your country. It's the, it's, it's, the, it's the biggest and proudest moment of my career so far, so it's something I'd like to replicate again. Um, in terms of dealing with disappointment, um, I look at the positives. I'm, I've, I've had a very fortunate career, um, and I still have. I'm playing at the top top level in English football. Um, in Sweden, I've my name sort of touted around to be involved in the squad. Uh, it's something to be proud of. So um, I try and look at the positives and, and concentrate on, on what I can do and what I can control, control the controllables, and, and it always worked for me so far. So I, I just stick to that, and and, and hopefully it's something at some point something changes for me and sort of I do get, I do get picked again and if it doesn't I'm, I'm very fortunate so it's not something I'm too concerned about. My proudest moment was playing for England um, the call up was incredible and then to turn up from my first camp and, and, and get a start at Wembley um, against Italy it's, it could couldn't have been any more perfect for me, really. Um, and by far the biggest achievement of my career. Obviously, I've, 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 I've had some great times in club football, but nothing will ever, will ever beat playing for your country um, and representing them. So, yeah, I'd say the proudest moment by far for me was starting for England and, and, and walking out in, in that England jersey and, and, and playing at Wembley. I think it's probably my family now, really. Um, I've said my parents are massive football fans, so it, it, it's, it's sort of been a bit of a dream for them as well as me, for me to be playing professional football. Um, and now I've got my little daughter, and I want, it's, it's something that you sort of, I wanted to grow up seeing, seeing daddy on TV playing football. That's something I can be really proud of. Um, so it, it's sort of achievement for me and my family. Um, and then as, as I grow a bit older and, and my daughter can look back and, and, and see that I managed to achieve something something good in my career um, in the footballing world, really. That's a tough question. Um, 
I think I think I would have been trying to force them to rugby, but I would have stayed away from that because I'm not tough enough to, to, to sort of take the hits that them big guys take. Uh, my biggest interest, I'd say, is probably cricket, really. Um, so I can just sit and watch cricket all day. Um, some people will probably find it quite boring, but I could sit and watch five days of test cricket easily. So I'll probably say cricket. I'm re something I'm really into. Um, I, I wasn't very good at it, but it's definitely a, a big interest of mine. I'd make sure you, you're enjoying doing what you're doing. And then if you do enjoy it, I'd say the commitment is, is the biggest thing. Um, if you're committed to what you're doing, and um, you're putting the, the work rate right in, and um, you're taking care of yourself in terms of your diet, your nutrition, your, your sort of, your physical attributes and looking after yourself, um, your sleep, your hydration, all things like that. Um, your, your commitment plays a massive part in, in being successful. Um, something I've seen over a long period of time is Talent takes you so far, but not all the way. I've, I've seen players who were, who were much better than myself and much better than other lads I've played with, um, but they weren't committed to, to, to being the best or, or trying to be the best version of themselves. So the commitment is such, is such a big factor in that. On top of my head, I, I'd go for the Batman films, probably the one with the Joker, which I think is Batman Returns. So maybe it's not Batman Returns. One of, either the one with Joker or the one with Bane, but one of the Batmans. Oh, that's a tough. Uh, losing. Yeah, just losing. I don't like losing. I hate losing. The England cricket team. <laughs> Just because I love cricket. <laughs> David Beckham. Anyone who's my age, you like football, would pick David Beckham. I'm pretty sure of that. My mobile phone background images is my daughter um, running around the garden. Not very exciting. Justin Bieber, without a doubt. I don't know if it though. Everyone likes Justin Bieber, no? Game of Thrones, until the last season, which everyone was disappointed with. But up until then, Game of Thrones. Champions League winner. Best in Europe or the best in England? Um, I don't cook much, so I do make a mean omelette though, so that's probably the best I've got. Peter Kay, um, just because he's the best comedian out there. Stop time or go back in time. Something to do with time and being able to like, sort of go back or change it, something like that. Be on, on those lines anyway. <laughs> um, not the missus, because we're probably end up falling out and having a bit of an argument in, in two minutes. Um, I'd most like to be stuck in a lift with a, a lift mechanic so we could get out of the lift. Um, my England debut shirt. Uh, my favourite animal is probably a lion. Or the goat. The Maldives. Luxurious. <laughs> <laughs>